Hello, I'm Pamela Forward from Whistleblowing Canada, and I'm here to say welcome and introduce you to the second in our series of six policy briefs that will share with you what we have learned about an important issue that affects the public in important ways, the issue of whistleblowing and how and why good people who tell the truth about wrongdoing often suffer reprisals and are punished, while wrongdoers often are not. This second brief answers the question, why blow the whistle in a case concerning drug safety? Was the senior medical regulator at Health Canada who first raised concerns inside the organization in the 1990s just a disgruntled troublemaker? Or was her concern for public safety valid? Were the changes taking place through a new policy regarding who had the ultimate responsibility for public safety in the sale and use of food, drugs, and medical devices in keeping with the intent of the law, the Food and Drugs Act? Or does policy trump the law? Were politicians and public servants at the time acting in the public interest or in their own self-interest? Or did they just inadvertently not consider the implications for the public interest when the changes were made? What can be done and should be done about the situation? Learn more and read our brief on Why Blow the Whistle? at our website, www.whistleblowingcanada.com.